If you have already seen yesterday's video, you know that by playing with the new gloss sprays by Tina Weekly, I created a couple of tags as well as a few chipboard shapes. So yesterday I created one page and today I'm going to use the tags to create another one. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it at the end of this one and you will find a link down below as well. So this is one of the tags that I created yesterday as I was playing with the new sprays to try them out and find out the properties. So as I was playing I ended up with two gorgeous uh, tags that I didn't want to throw away. So this is the one of them. I used my uh, pit brush marker to add some shadow on my bird just to bring it a little bit more to life. And now I'm using a very thin uh, uh, black pen to sketch all around it. Just adding a black line is going to separate it more from the background and it's going to bring it more to life. Now remember that gloss spray is actually acrylic so all the color that I have on this tag is acrylic which turns this tag into a non-porous surface and that was great for using my big brush marker directly on top. I was able to smudge it easily. It was soaking into the paper so I didn't have to cover it up with matte medium which is a technique that I usually do. So I'm really happy with this property as well. Now I'm going to use a stencil and this one is called Rocking Stripes and I'm going to apply on top some modeling paste. Making sure that I don't cover up my bird. I just want to have some uh, texture only at the background. I'm applying my modeling paste with uh, one of those silicone spatulas. They are really handy to work with and I like how easy they are to clean up. Now I want to do some stamping as well and I will be using the same text stamp that I used on yesterday's art journal since I actually made those two journal pages on the same day back to back and I'm using the same products that I have on my table. So basically same colors, the same stencils and the same stamp. Now this text stamp is uh, one that I had in my stash for years. I don't even know which is which company made it but there are so many different uh, word stamps out there that you can use on your backgrounds. I like um, these type of text stamps because they are very versatile. You can use them pretty much in every project. I'm stamping everything with my Black Archival Link. This is Jet Black and uh, it is my favorite when it comes to art journaling just because it dries completely permanent. I'm going to ink up the edges and I'm going to bring in the other tag that I made yesterday as I was playing with my sprays. And I'm going to add some extra details here and there just to make it look more interesting. So here I'm using the exact same stencil and I'm adding some white lines following the stencil design. I'm not going to cover up completely the whole tag. I just want to have some lines here and there around my circles. I'm also going to draw some lines around the tags. For that again I'm using my white gel pen and I'm not being very careful here although I should have because my embossing paste isn't dry yet and uh, when you touch the embossing paste or other uh, wet mediums with your pens you may ruin them so be careful. I'm going to draw some lines around this tag as well and then I'm going to bring in the stencil, align it on top of those uh, white polka dots and stamp again on top of them. So I am basically repeating the same techniques like the ones I did on yesterday's video but again remember these pages were done together so they are using similar techniques and similar products. And since I am planning to put those tags one on top of the other I want to help them separate a little bit so in order for them to stand out more I'm going to use a blending tool and I'm going to go all around the edges with the um, black ink that I have on my table. Just uh, inking up the edge to make it slightly darker so when I lay it one on top of the other you will see that they stand out more. Now I'm going to bring in my blue journal and here's the page that I made yesterday. So I am going for a denim page today and I will be working on the darker side. And I think that these are going to stand out beautifully on top of this color. However, I want to add something interesting on my background. For that I will be using the same stencil as I used for the tags. This way I have the same element at the background and at the foreground. So it kind of brings everything together. So all I'm doing is applying gesso 
all over the place with a spatula. Not being neat at all, I'm going to cover up most of it with my tags later on. And then I'm going to move on and apply some gesso over the stencil. If you notice I apply gesso directly on my spatula and then uh, go over the stencil, it is really quick and simple to do and add something interesting on your background. And when you are working on one of those denim pages, you really don't need to do a lot on top of it, you already have texture and color on your background. And I know that it looks like a hot mess at the moment, but you will see everything will come together at the end. Now I have one of Dina Weekly's new stamp sets, this is called Work in Progress and I love the sentiments, I will be using two of them and I am going to combine Never Stop Trying, things will work out. So I'm going to stamp them with a black archival ink on just a piece of white scrap paper here and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut out strips of it so that I can glue them on my tags. I like the fact that they are nice big fonts so they stand out nicely on top of a big page like the one that I'm working on. Now you cannot have enough texture on an art journal page, that's why I am going to cut out two pieces of uh, twine, thread them through my tags, just to add something extra on them. And I'm not going to even trim them down, I like uh, them hanging out of the book. I think it's uh, going to give my book a more artistic look and some character. So I have decided where I want this to go. And before I stick my tags down, I'm going to use my poke tool here and I'm just working on top of a mouse pad to poke some holes. I'm planning to do some sewing and this is going to help uh, my needle go through easier. I will repeat the same thing on the other tag. And then I'm going to stick them down. For sticking everything down, I'm going to use a generous amount of uh, matte medium at the back. Just apply it with your spatula. Now I have a needle with thick white thread and I'm just going to create a couple of X's. Since I have the pokes there, it's really helpful and it doesn't have to be neat or perfect. Just adding something extra on my tags, it's all about layers, different textures and different elements that you can incorporate on your pages. And since this page is actually fabric, it's nice to do some sewing. So I'm going to finish off my uh, two X's here and then I'm going to add uh, the exact same thing on the other tag. Now I already have my uh, motivational quote cut out and ready to go so I'm just sticking it down. For that I'm using my white glue but of course you can use your matte medium or any other type of adhesive that you have. Everything sticks on top of that acrylic paint. Then I'm going to bring in my thin black marker and draw some sketchy lines around my quote. If you are wondering, I'm using a Micro 005. It has an archival link and uh, I love the way it uh, writes on top of uh, my journals and how thin it is. However, you have to be super, super careful when you use it. If it touches any wet medium, it dies instantly. So anyway, I'm going to call this page done. All I need to do is to stamp the date. So I'm going to stamp this on one of the tags. And then also I'm going to stamp the date on the other page that I made yesterday since I did both those pages on the same day. Now here is the back of my denim page. Not neat at all, but I really don't care. I can always cover it up with some uh, paper pieces if I want to work on that page. So here are some close-up photos on the project that I made for today. I hope that you had fun today and that you got inspired to work on one of those burlap or uh, denim pages of this journal. I absolutely love the challenge. Remember, there is a list of everything I used down below in the description area. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.